Hey guys, today we're going to be discussing an alternative to the calming collars we've been trying recently. So our vet recommended that we try another natural alternative, which is very popular at the moment, and it's CBD oil. So CBD is a compound found in the cannabis plant, but it's not actually the part that will get you high. So it's completely safe to use on both humans and animals. CBD is a non-psychoactive and that's the reason why it's safe to use. CBD for pets is sourced from a hemp plant, which is a variety of cannabis that has very low concentrations of THC, and THC is the part that can get you high. And some of the benefits of it are that it's a very good painkiller, it can be an anti-convulsant, it's an anti-inflammatory, and it is a great stress reliever and good against anxiety. And that's the main reason why we wanted to try it on both Kebby and Momo. Kebby for her licking and Momo for his FIC. And as usual, always consult your vet before trying untraditional treatments such as CBD because all pets can react to it differently. And you always need to proceed with caution and start on very low dosages, which is what we're doing. We're starting very, very low, even lower than the recommended. And then we're going to try it over time and see how they react and then up the dosage or take them off it completely if necessary. The brand we chose is... Africa Pure because it, um, as we did our research, it was one of the highest recommended um, brands in South Africa and it's a local brand with locally sourced um, plants, which is always good to think local rather than trying to import something because it's also better for the environment. African Pure also offers CBD oils for pets and humans, so we got some for ourselves as well. That way we can try it along with our pets. And the other reason we wanted to try the CBD is because in the long run it might work out quite a bit cheaper than constantly replacing the calming collars. We found that the calming collar works really well for the first two weeks when that active ingredient you can smell it on the collar and it's really potent but after that it wears off fairly quickly. We would need to replace it almost every two to three weeks whereas the CBD I mean we don't know yet because it's it literally just arrived as we're recording this. It might last us two or three months depending how heavy the dosage is that we give the cats. And already just a bottle we purchased is cheaper than the calming collar itself. We are being very cautious with the dosage specifically for Momo because he has had bad reactions to medication in the past. So we are going to ta start him off on I think about a quarter of the recommended dosage. And the calming collars we only had for Momo and Kebby but this we can at least use on all of the pets if needed. Maya, for instance, has a chronic condition. She's on cortisone and an anti-anxiety permanently. So we hope that this might help her as well with her condition. And if there's fireworks or some other stressful situation, this might help the cats as well. The CBD can be used for chronic diseases, such as the ones some of our cats have. Alternatively, it can also be used for more acute conditions. So if we, as Toby said for moments if we move, if there's a stressful situation, if we have guests over that may stress them out or if anything happens it can be used to treat it as it happens instead of just giving it to them every day. And we are doing this under the recommendation of our vet so please don't take our, we, we aren't practiced veterinarians or anything, we're just passing on information that we got. If you do think you might want to try this for your own pets, please consult your vet first. So for now, we've decided to give them the CBD every day just to build it up in their system and see how they react to it in a more efficient manner. And then depending how it goes, we can in a month or so adapt the dosage and maybe take some off or take some go every second day, every third day, depending on how they react to it and how much they need of it. The link to the calming collar video we did recently is up above right now as well. If you want to check that out first, please go have a look. We did try the calming collars for Momo and Kebby and we gave a little breakdown of how that was going in the link that's up above right now. Please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video and also go find us on Instagram. We'd really appreciate it. It's at Mo the Siamese. We'd really love the support and we'll see you in the next one.